Well, we've come to Grantham and this is the last loft visit of our tour which is taking us to 10 champion North Road lofts around the Nottingham area in the Midlands and uh, really we finished on a high note because uh, this is John Norris and John won the, the King's Cup from Lerick last year in 1995 and I'll say congratulations John, it's certainly a thrill. Thanks very much indeed. It is a great honour and a great thrill. Magnificent trophy, mate. It's wonderful. Well done, it's wonderful. Well, have a look at his pitch. This is your King's Cup winner then, John. Yeah, this is Champion Nailer's Pride. First Open NRCC Larrick 1995. A wonderful young cock. What bloodlines is he? He's a Bushart, Rapido Bushart, bred by Andrew Naylor from Merton in County Durham. And his bloodlines are from Mitchell Brothers of the Maid Marion Lofts. Yeah, how far do you fly from Lerick? 500 miles. Yeah, it's a lovely cock, mate. The pigeon was bought at a charity sale in Merton, in Durham, for £50. And it's a wonderful young pigeon. May I first of all introduce you to my silent partner, Len Hart. Len looks after the pigeons, does all the cleaning out and helps me get and prepare the pigeons for the job. How long have you been racing pigeons then you two? I've been flying with pigeons since I was 14 years old and I'm now 43, so nearly 30 years. Yeah. Len? Well, in my other partnership I've been racing since 1964. We packed up this year and that's when I've started helping John. Yeah, and that's you, you actually clocked the King's Cup winner, I believe. Yes, that's right. What a thrill, ain't it? Yeah. What system do you race in? Everything's on Widowood. Yeah, so you've got... Never, ever fly hens. No. Do you, what, you, obviously, you like Widowood for the distance then? Yeah, we've looked at uh, pigeon racing over the last five or six years, and the Widowood cocks have started to dominate distance racing from Larrick, so we thought that... Uh, you know, you've got to be on this system. Yeah, you're right, because it always used to be a system for sprint racing, but in recent seasons, it seems like, yeah, you've got your distance champions winning it on Widowed as well. Yeah, that's correct, but what I've found is that uh, the middle distance pigeons that I've had, and with me being long distance orientated, that it has sort of made them pigeons better yeah. for distance racing. This is a few of the Widowed Cox. This section contains 12 two-year-old widowed cocks, mainly Matthews Vandenbosch crosses, the first cross. All these young cocks last year flew Thurzo, and um, some of them have won already and they continue to win as they get older. I yeah. found that uh, the older the pigeons are, the better they become. But these young cocks, uh, this young blue cock here, 58th open in RCC Thurzo last year, 12 and a half hours on the wing for a yearling mm, cock. Yeah. I, I noticed that your birds are still sitting. You haven't got them on the widow yet, yet, John? No, I, I pair up uh, the middle to the end of my, uh, February. Uh, I'm not really into the, the sprint widowwood short distance. Everything is for the distance. This is the best racing cock I've ever owned. A Morris Matthews bred at the Fountainhead and purchased for £60 as a baby. He's won six times from 100 miles to 350 miles. He's had positions from Thurzo. He's won Fraserburgh, 336 miles. And every time he goes, you can guarantee he'll be there. Was he racing the middle as well then, John? Yes, only Widowood. So you've always raced Widowood then, John? I've always raced Widowood. Uh, I used to fly long distance Westcott pigeons from Ipswich, from Wally Grantham and Jack Brill. After I went to work abroad for a number of years, I came back and I saw that pigeon racing had changed that much and the, the sprinting middle distance Widowood cocks had started to dominate pigeon racing that I had to change to some form of sprint middle distance. Yeah, do you, uh, do you show your hens to the cocks on Friday night? Every time they go, they show. Yeah. 
um, for a very short time, but they are always shown. Yeah. I believe the bowl, the nest bowl, is the biggest asset to you. Yeah. How long do the cocks get the hens for when they come home from a race then? If they, if they home at one o'clock on the Saturday afternoon, they have the hens until six at night, every time they go. Yeah. How about breakdown? Do you break them down? Never, ever. Now you find that, I think, with long distance men, they tend not to break down, don't they? Well, it's horses for courses. I want mine for the job later on in the year. Yeah. Not for sprinting. How about you, Len? Do you like the Woodward system or...? Well, I've got used to it now with John Mike, but years ago, we flew natural all the time. Yeah. You know, it's just one of these things that you've got to change with the times. That's it, exactly. You know. You've got a very smart main racing off then, John. Yeah, it's uh, mainly all for widowed cocks. The two outside sections are for widowed cocks. The centre section is for young birds. I designed the loft, sat on the beach in Mallorca when I was on holiday. And I came home while wor working abroad and asked the joiner to build the loft after I designed it. All the birds are trapped for open doors, I see. Yeah, everything is open door, straight into the boxes. Don't waste any time waiting for pigeons on roofs or on traps or anything. These are the trophies that I won in 1995 by Club, Federation and NRCC, featuring the large trophy in the middle, the NRCC King's Cup. Right lads, I'd just like to say congratulations on winning the King's Cup last year. Thanks very much. And uh, I hope you have a good season in 1996. So <laughs> do we. <laughs> and thanks very much for letting me come around and see the birds today. It's been a pleasure.